Hello, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. Have you ever wanted to shift the pitch of your voice in GarageBand? I'll show you how to change pitch on anything using GarageBand now. Here we are then with a little bit of recorded audio into a new audio track on GarageBand. Have a listen. This is an example of changing pitch in GarageBand. Okay, the first thing I'm going to want to do is alter this voice. So what I'll need to do is actually add on a new audio track. There it is on track two. And then I'll go into voice and I will select compressed vocal from my library, which you can access by clicking that button in the top left. So voice, compressed vocal, and there we go. It changes into a compressed vocal track down there. Now I will want to access the tools, so I can either do that by uh, clicking up here, and that will give me the, the tools down here, the controls. Uh, if I click over here to the scissor icon, this is the usual one I get to edit my audio, but I need to be over here on this icon right here to get all of my Dynamics EQ squeeze and sends there. Don't worry, we'll be concerned with any of that stuff. We're going to click this button right the way over here in the corner called the Stomp button box, which is where the fun begins. This will bring up uh, lots of different boxes and old retro looking uh, kind of analog boxes that you would have got in the old days of messing about with voices. Now it's all digitized. And I'll go down to the presets here, go for pitch, and I can choose what I want to do. So I might want to go for, well, let's choose like an octave up mix, for instance. If I do that, I now have a little control there. Now, play it in the original track here, you'll hear this is an ex no changes. Drag it down to my altered track here, let's play it back and see how it sounds. This, this is, is an example, example of changing, changing pitch, pitch in, in GarageBand. GarageBand. Now, notice I did the octave up mix, but I could easily go for the octave only or the octave up. Let's listen to the differences. Octave up sounds like this. This is an example of changing pitch in GarageBand. And I can go pitch and I can go for octave only. Let's listen to how that sounds. That's a very interesting sound, isn't it? I can't really hear anything there. It's all distorted. Lots of other features you get in here as well, but we're focusing on pitch in this video. Uh, how about we go, it would be nice to go down a little bit, wouldn't it? So let's go for something like, uh, how about fourth down and see how that sounds. This is an example of changing pitch in GarageBand. And you can, of course, mess about with the controls. Let's do that in real time. This is an example of changing pitch in GarageBand. See how altering the tune changes that, and changing the mix as well will also change the amount. This is an example of changing pitch in GarageBand. So as I turn the mix right down, it goes back to the original vocal. As I turn the mix up, it goes to only the pitch shifted vocal. This is an example. And I can tune it. You've heard how that works. Tuning it up and down octaves, switching the effect off and on by using this little gray button down here. Changing pitch, very easy to do in GarageBand. I hope you've learned something. And please subscribe for more tutorials just like this one.